Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Luxury Insider for Yachting International Radio. I'm your host Sarah Colburn and today I'd love to introduce you to Rob Armstrong, Creative Director and Founder of 30C Design. Hi Rob, how are you? Hi, thank you for having us. Oh, welcome. How's everything going? Yeah, it's good. It's um, certainly challenging times, but we're, um, we're making headway. So, yes, all how, positive. How's the team and the family? Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's going well. Everyone's working remotely from the studio now. Um, I'm alone I'm here today in the studio, sort of come in today, sort of check over. But, um, but yes, everyone's working remotely. We've got all the machines set up and speaking daily to everyone. So it's um, business as usual, as it were. Oh, fantastic. Well, for everybody who's watching, Rob and I know each other. We've worked on some fantastic projects together. So we thought this would be a great opportunity to introduce 30C to everybody. So tell us a bit about how the journey started. How did you start in design and creating 30C? So I started work at a yacht design studio here on the south coast of England. Um, and I was there for about seven and a half years um, where I met my business partner, Alistair. Um, and it was a, a couple of years after that we decided to uh, to set up our own studio together um, and sort of venture out into the world of yacht design. Gosh, so but how did your journey start? So when what was the first, some of the first projects you ever worked on, or how did your, you know, how did it all start for you in design? So in design, I sort of really fell into it. So I started work at Ken Freevox, um, as you know, works with Maltese Falcon and a few other big projects like that. Um, and within the studio, I met some fantastic people we've worked with. Throughout the years, I was there um, making great connections and, and meeting people with the industry. Um, still continue a great relationship with Ken. Um, and still, still work heavily with them. So. Oh, great! So, 30C, tell us all about 30C and what you guys do. Um, so, we work uh, as a, a yacht design studio, like any others. So, we work on both exteriors of the boats as well as the interiors. So, we, we start with pencil sketches with the owners, um, working all the way through to the interiors and then helping them deliver their boat and, and all the bits and pieces that go with it. Um, so it's a great journey from beginning to end to, to see a project come to life. Oh, and how long do some of these projects take you? Or you um, uh, refit projects can take take months um, and the bigger projects can take years really. So it's, it's lots of people that come in and out of projects and uh, the bigger the projects, the, the longer it seems to take. So. Yeah, I bet, I bet. And so during these really unpredictable times, how have you guys felt like you've adapted to the change or what's the new normal now for 30C? New normal is we're still continuing as ever um, but we're all working remotely so it's I suppose more than anything it's more phone calls during the day ch checking in with people rather than sort of just glancing around at someone else's desk because we like to work together and see how everyone else is working within the team um, and we get creative ideas off each other so we're trying yeah. to continue that um, as much as we can so screen sharing um, sending each other messages and pictures um, of things that inspire us really um, to keep that side of the, the design alive. So. Yeah, it must be. I know that you know I'm spending half my time on Zooms and Skypes and just bouncing off people because I can't have that interaction. And with you guys, I can imagine in design, you're so used to leaning over each other's shoulders and that's you know, you grab the latest magazine that's come in or you'll see a styling feature on a car or on a plane or something like that that you want to share with, with your peers. So. Yeah, yeah, gosh, gosh. And so what are some of the great, exciting projects that you guys are working on at the moment? I know you sent me a design um, of Lotus that you're doing. Yes, that's right. Yeah. We started work on that last year and we're still continuing to develop that. Um, there's a, a couple of interested parties on that side. So we're, we're developing the interior further um, and, and progressing with exterior styling and hopefully producing models and, and a bit more sort of press will come out of that. Um, but yes, it's it's putting out speed on that side, which is nice. Um, and then we've got a couple other projects, um, quite a lot of people interested in refits at the moment. So mm -hmm. between sort of around the 50 meter mark um, where there's a lot of boats of those size at the moment on the market. So we're taking those and, and redoing the interiors really, which can be a quite a quick turnaround. So. Gosh, and how are you finding the whole design industry in the super yacht world at the moment? Are you finding it's, it's changing? Uh, it's changing, yes. Um, people want things quicker, I'd say, more than ever. Um, but I think people are, are, are pausing to think at this time. Um, mm. They're there in the background, um, ready and waiting, I think. Um, and they're just waiting for this, this time to pass before they sort of jump into the next stage of their projects. 
Um, so, but quietly in the background, you're, we're definitely hearing and speaking to clients more now than I think we ever have, who are sort of quietly in the background now, they're sat at the, in their villas, just contemplating what they want to do next. Well, that's it. I suppose it's looking forward to something, isn't it? And having a bit of a new project, maybe, or... That's right. I think they, they're looking, they're always looking for that next thing um, or their next deal to be had. So they're, they're scouring the magazine to try and find their next project or not. <laughs> well, journey, that's, that's our job. So. Wow, well, exactly right. And what are you finding some of the trends at the moment? Are there any trends in, in yacht design that you're seeing? In yacht design, it's, I suppose, from our side, people, people come to us for our design direction and, and our, our styling as well as, as anything. But, um, so a minimalist clean look um, is, is quite often the, the chosen route to go down. Um, there's quite a lot of boats out there that are 20 years old now that sort of have heavy wood interiors. So we're finding that they're wanting to, to give those a refresh, lighten them up, make them a lot brighter. Um, more simplistic, um, loose furniture is, is, a, is a key item that's, that's quite often put in um, rather than heavy, bulky sofas that can be sort of fitted in. So it makes the boat lighter and sleeker on the interior. And are you finding there's definitely more of a focus on sustainability with the interior and exterior of yachts? Oh, you'd like to say yes all the time to that, but I suppose the answer is it's clients often want their project now and they're not too fast. And as yeah. I say, we'll definitely push owners into the sustainability route and yeah. encourage them. Um, but at the end of the day, they just want to have fun and, and enjoy the boats. Um, yeah, I know. I know. I'm seeing it at the moment. And, you know, in both of our jobs, we're we're constantly wanting to push that. But I think it's just the reality is you just got to do what the client wants. And and also you've got to, I suppose, improvise. And That's improvise. right. We have budgets that we need to fall in line with as well. And quite often the sustainability things are, are a higher budget. And it's, it's, mm. it's you can have the owner take one thing and then we'll, we'll get them on something else. So it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's a balancing act, really. Um, constantly changing, constantly changing. So with 30C, what has been one of the proudest moments that you've had since you've started the company? I suppose it's, it's, it's walking on board boats, which you've designed or, or, or seeing things that you created um, from a sketch in being built in front of your eyes, really. That's some of the proudest moments I've had, I think. Walking on board a boat and walking through a staircase that, that you've helped design. I think that's that's one of the most sort of magical experiences. So. Oh gosh, well I know we've got a challenge ahead with you know whether to go to yacht shows or you know all these kind of things. So if people want to get in touch with you, what's the best way to kind of find out more about your designs? You can follow us on our sort of social channels on Instagram. I suppose is the, is our sort of bigger channel which we we push um, items out on. We try and have a bit of fun and engage with our with our audience um, as well as our website. So they're the sort of best ways to reach out to us. Um, but from our side, well, I suppose we're more of a, a creative sort of fun yacht design studio. We uh, we try and encourage a, a good amount of interaction with our clients. So. Yeah, I've noticed that we've we've done plenty of amazing Christmas jumper shows, and we've had lots of interaction with some intergalactic kind of designs on yacht design, and that's what it's all about, you know. And it's yeah, about engaging. The industry is so serious, I think, and I think we're just trying to break the mold a little bit on that. Um, to just engage with everyone, really. Um, the, our yacht design audience is getting younger as well, and we're just encouraging that next generation to be interested in and and pick up the phone and, and talk to us so. and talk to you and talk to you wow it's been fantastic speaking with you today and thank you so much for making the time to speak with us do you do you think then uh in the next few months we're going to see some more great things come from 30c or are you going to give us any information on that definitely we've got a, a few big projects in the pipeline at the moment so some 80 meter plus boats we've got on the on the drawing board at the moment um, as well as a 100 meter one, which we're working on quite heavily. So it's it's all all systems Yay, going. Fantastic news. Super, super exciting. Well, thanks again, Rob. And for all our viewers, make sure you check out 30C on Instagram and on their website. Um, and speak with Rob if you've got any questions, if you're interested in obviously looking at a refit for your yacht um, or even a, a new build project. So great speaking with you, Rob. And yeah, uh, always, Sarah. <laughs> and thank you for joining Luxury Insider for Yachting International Radio. Take care and stay safe.